Hi guys, so we finally have a nice day with a bit of a breeze so it is a perfect time for us to get some of the chores done that we needed to do in and around the yard and in the barn. So today we are just going to be doing some weeding and just picking up and cleaning up around the barn in the house and then we want to get to the barn where we want to fix up the feed room and finish um, fixing up the new pack room. I like to organize and this feed room drives me mental. It is like a disaster. The feed bags are just all over the ground. We have containers holding the feed. However, the girls and Scott never put the lids back on them. So then mice are in here. There's stuff all over the counter. You can never find anything. Blankets are hanging in random places on the wall and difficult to get to. We need to come up with a plan. So this was our old tack room slash storage area. And as you can see, it was a mess. Now when we got Stevie, we needed to make another stall for her. So the tack room needed to get moved. And now we are finding we are in short supply of storage. But with a little creativity and organization, we can get that under control. So the next area that drives me crazy is this entrance area at the side. It is usually filled with all kinds of hay or shavings bags. It's where we store garbage cans and it just, it ends up always cluttered and it's just not very efficient. So I'm going to get this done up. They are probably all going to complain about it, but I'm getting this organized. We ended up moving the tack room over to the last stall that we still have to redo the flooring in. It's just a dirt floor and extremely uneven. So we are working on doing a limestone screening base and putting mats in but until then this is going to serve as a perfect tack room. So the first thing I wanted to do was get that cupboard out of the feed room. It just collects garbage and mice are all through it. So I had one of our cabinets left over from our kitchen reno uh, when we were removing the old kitchen and it is part of the kitchen island so I'm repurposing that and putting it in the barn and here is where we're going to store all of our first aid stuff anything for washing uh, fly spray all of that kind of stuff cleaning agents so that is going to stay all nice and clean in the front nice and accessible now we also need a counter for this cupboard so what I'm doing is taking the old kitchen counter and cutting it down to size so that way I don't have to go purchase anything. It's all about reusing what you have hanging around. So my philosophy is if you make something look pretty you're more likely to keep it clean so I've got a plant from the dollar store and I'm going to hang some artwork that Julia and our friend Briar did. And yes, Scott and the girls think this is crazy. So this feed room, <laughs> oh goodness. So where to start? The whiteboard, we actually keep a whiteboard. Um, I had one hanging around and on it we keep all of the horses' names, what they each get to eat during the day, and then also our schedule. This way, if there's ever an emergency or someone needs to come and help out with the horses, it's all right there and it can easily be referenced. Usually what happens is Julia mixes the food with the buckets on the ground and I wanted to create a feed station. This way it's all up, neat, clean, and we're not having food spilled everywhere. I had old shelves that weren't being used, which were perfect to repurpose for holding the buckets and the bins holding all the different grain go right underneath. Our friend Briar painted us some nameplates for the horses. 
this is going to work out perfect for identifying which buckets belong to which horse. And I also hung that shelf low enough that they can't leave those lids open. <laughs> My brother had a metal shelf that he wasn't using and so it works as a perfect spot to store all of our feed bags, it gets them off of the ground and out of the way. The tack room. Unfortunately, I couldn't get a good angle with the camera so that you could see what I was doing, but I will give you a quick tour right now. So along the one wall here, I just went to the dollar store and grabbed these horse hooks, which are perfect for hanging brush buckets. And each horse has their own color coordinated bucket. In the corner here, we reused the hooks that we had taken down from the feed room and it works as a perfect storage place for all of our extra bridles and halters. On the wall, each horse has their own saddle rack. So we have Jack's English and Western tack and his brush bucket and then over here is Duke's. In the corner, we had a plastic hose holder that was gonna be garbage, and so I thought this will be perfect to hold all of our girths. Okay guys, this is probably my favorite part of this whole makeover, and it is how to store our saddle pads, our blankets, fly masks, and it is neat, organized, not all in a heap, mice can't get onto it. And the best part is, is it's not taking up a ton of space and I have so much room to hang all of our other blankets. And it was free. I just reused this rod that we had taken out of one of our closets. I used scrap wood to attach it to the rafter. Up here is where we're gonna keep all of our out of season blankets. And down below the in-season stuff will go so it's fast and easy access. And then just extra shelving I had laying around and scrap wood that I made brackets with for extra storage. And the feed room door, look how disgusting this is. So I got a little bit of water on it and when I went to go wipe it, it got clean. So I ended up doing the entire door and what a difference. Reorganizing your barn doesn't have to cost a lot of money. Check around if you don't have stuff around your place, ask friends and family if they have things that they have no use for and that they're getting rid of and then maybe you can repurpose that for your barn. We've been keeping a really big secret and we have a really exciting guest coming next episode so make sure that you hit subscribe, like, and the notification bell so you don't miss it. And also check out our other videos because we have a newborn baby foal and some baby chicks and you can watch the birth.
Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Barn Boots and Country Roots. Oh, <laughs> my